Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet application capable of performing calculations, analyzing data, and integrating information from different programs. By default, documents are saved in Excel 2010 with the dot .xlsx extension, whereas the file name extension of the prior Excel versions is dot .xls. In previous class, you have learned the Excel 2010 environment, which replaces the Microsoft Office button from Excel 2007. Now, you will learn more about cells, rows and columns. Rows and Columns in Excel 2010 MS Excel is in tabular format consisting of rows and columns. Row runs horizontally while column runs vertically. Each row is identified by row number. Each column is identified by column header. For MS Excel 2010, row numbers ranges from 1 to 10,48,576. In total, 10,48,576 rows and columns ranges from A to XFD in total 16,384 columns. Cells and Cell Content Cells Cells are the basic building blocks of a worksheet. They can contain a variety of cell content. Each rectangle in a worksheet is called a cell. A cell is the intersection of a row and a column. Each cell has a name or a cell address based on which column and row it intersects. The cell address of a selected cell appears in the name box. Here you can see that G10 is selected. To select a cell, click a cell to select it. When a cell is selected, you will notice that the borders of the cell appear bold and the column heading and row heading of the cell are highlighted. Release your mouse. The cell will stay selected until you click another cell in the worksheet. You can also navigate your worksheet and select a cell by using the arrow keys of your keyboard. To select multiple cells, you can also select multiple cells at the same time. A group of cells is known as a cell range. You can also refer to a cell range using the cell addresses of the first and the last cells in the cell range, separated by a colon. For example, a cell range that included cells A1, A2, A3, A4 and A5 would be written as A1 colon A5. To select a range of cells, Click and drag your mouse until all the adjoining cells you want are highlighted. Cell Content Each cell can contain its own text, formatting attributes, comments, formulas and functions. Text Cells can contain letters, numbers and dates. Formatting Attributes Cells can contain formatting attributes that change the format of letters, numbers and dates are displayed. For example, dates can be formatted as mm slash dd slash yyy or dd slash mm slash yyyy. Comments Cells can contain comments from multiple reviewers. Formulas and functions Cells can contain formulas and functions that calculate cell values. For example, sum cell 1 cell 2 is a formula that can add the values in multiple cells. To insert content, click a cell to select it. Enter content into the selected cell using your keyboard. The content appears in the cell and in the formula bar. You can also enter or edit cell content from the formula bar. To delete content within cells, select the cells containing content that you want to delete. Click the clear command on the ribbon. A drop-down menu will appear. Select clear contents. To delete cells, Select the cells you want to delete. Choose the delete command and then click delete cells from the ribbon. Choose option from delete dialog box and click OK. There's an important difference between deleting the content of a cell and deleting the cell itself. If you delete the cell, by default, the cells underneath it will shift up and replace the deleted cell. To copy and paste cell content, select the cell or cells you want to copy. Click the copy command and press Ctrl plus C. Cells will change its appearance. Select the cell or cells where you want to paste the content and click paste or press Ctrl plus V. To cut and paste cell content, select the cell or cells and choose cut. 
select the cell or cells and click paste the cut content will be removed from the original cells and entered into the highlighted cells copy paste in special way you may not want to copy everything in some cases for example you want to copy only values or you want to copy only the formatting of cells select the paste special option from the drop down menu on the paste command the various options available in paste special are all pastes the cell contents formats and data validation from the windows clipboard formulas paste formulas but not formatting values paste only values not the formulas formats paste only the formatting of the source range comments paste the comments with the respective cells validation paste validation applied in the cells all using source theme paste formulas and all formatting all except borders paste everything except borders that appear in the source range column widths paste formulas and also duplicates the column width of the copied cells formulas and number formats paste formulas and number formats only values and number formats paste the results of formulas plus the number all merging conditional formats this icon is displayed only when the copied cells contain conditional formatting when clicked it merges the copied conditional formatting with any conditional formatting in the destination range transpose changes the orientation of the copied range rows become columns and columns become rows any formulas in the copied range are adjusted so that they work properly when transposed formatting cells select the cell or cells you want to format right click the selected cells a dialog box will appear click format cells now you can change the alignment font border etc from the format cells dialog box to drag and drop cells select the cell or cells you want to move position your mouse on one of the outside edges of the selected cells the mouse pointer changes from a white cross to a black cross arrows click and drag the cells to the new location release your mouse and the cells will be dropped to the new location to use the fill handle to fill cells select the cell or cells containing the content you want to use position your mouse over the fill handle so the white cross becomes a black cross click and drag the fill handle until all the cells you want to fill are highlighted release the mouse and your cells will be filled